y'all, Chef Neely with The Cook's Warehouse here, and today I decided to do a demo of a product that not a lot of people know about, um, and this is the Vitamix Air. I know that almost everybody on the planet's heard of the Vitamix, but this is a fun um, accessory that you can get to go with it, and it's A-E-R, and it is called that because of the Air Disc. So as you can see in there, this is different than the traditional blade. I had one over there. So this is the traditional blade in the Vitamix, and then this is the air container. So what is really cool about this is it has a couple of different functions. It can emulsify, it can foam, it can muddle, and what was the other one again? Whip. <laughs> Ashley, can you do those little bubbles like, <laughs> that I was thinking? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you a couple of uses for it. Um, I love it. I love my Vitamix. I have the Ascent at home. I used it to make baby food for a year. Now I use it to make a lot of margaritas because I'm drinking a lot of margaritas these days. Um, so the Vitamix itself is just amazing. Um, but I'm going to show you how amazing this is too. So the first thing we're going to do is make some simple syrup because what are we going to make afterwards? Margaritas! Um, so here we go. Simple syrup is... So, so easy. My husband's gonna call me out that I just said syrup. Syrup. As he said, savior. Okay, water. I've got two and three fourths cup of water. And simple syrup is just one to one. So you can play around with the ratio, but always the same amount of sugar to the same amount of water. So we're gonna add this in. Slow pour. Voila. The lid on it. We're going to turn it on. We're going to let it go for five minutes and we are going to have amazing simple syrup without any effort. <laughs> All right, so five minutes is up and I know that because the ascent tells me the time because it's amazing. And our simple syrup is done. And now we're just gonna let that cool before we make our cocktails. Okay. All right, so the second recipe we're gonna do is we're gonna make some homemade whipped cream, which is super easy. And I'm gonna channel my inner Ina Garten. And we're gonna do a chocolate icebox cake or chocolate chip cookie icebox cake with her beloved Tate's chocolate chip cookies. Um, so just keeping it interesting around here. So again, I've got the air container. I've got some cold, heavy whipping cream. Do not try to use half and half for this. That won't whip up. I'm sort of making up a recipe right now, but I'll write it down afterwards and we'll put it in the comment section so you can recreate this. I'm thinking about three cups of heavy cream. Woo! <laughs> Hey now. All right. And we're gonna do some powdered sugar. If you don't have powdered sugar, use granulated sugar. That's fine. I just really like powdered sugar and milk cream. It's fourth a cup. Half a cup. We can always add. We'll start with that. Okay. And then we're going to add a little cocoa powder to make chocolate whipped cream. And this is Verona. We sell this here at the Cook's Warehouse, and it is the best. I am a cocoa powder snob, and this is the only stuff I use. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for the top. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs>
So pretty. So Ashley asked a good question. Why can't I just make this in my regular Vitamix blender? Um, you probably can. Um, the Vitamix blender is so powerful though that you're gonna end up with whipped cream so fast that it's 99.9% .9 likely that you're gonna over whip it and you're gonna end up with butter, which is not what we're going for here. Um, so the beauty of the air disc is that it whips really gently and aerates. Um, so it's a lot harder to over whip. Um, and it's just like a really cloud-like texture, which I'm into cloud-like textures. So let's, uh, let's give it a little taste. Ashley approved? Mm-hmm. All right, this is gonna be really good for our chocolate chip cookie icebox cake. So we are gonna start assembling our icebox cake and Ashley, our producer slash director here, is going to speed up that process. Is that the right word? Speed up. <laughs> It's not the most beautiful, but it's really fun and easy to make with your kids, and it's going to be delicious. So with an icebox cake, you just have to refrigerate it, and what happens is these cookies are gonna meld with the whipped cream, and they're gonna become one, and they're gonna be so delicious. And then before serving, we'll just dust it with a little bit of um, cocoa powder, and you're gonna love it. All right, so now we're gonna make our strawberry mint margarita. And really it would have been a strawberry mint mojito, but we don't have any rum, but we have tequila, you know, and it's the quarantine, so we're making do. Um, I'm actually gonna kind of follow a recipe on the Vitamix website. And if you didn't know, Vitamix.com actually has tons of amazing recipes um, and you can adapt it to which container you have. Um, so they have awesome soups and smoothies and cocktails, so check that out. Um, so again, we're gonna kind of take your mojito recipe and. Hopefully not butcher it. Um, so I've got the air blade in or the air container and I'm going to just pluck some mint. Okay, this smells so good. And the cool thing about the air function is it's going to muddle the drink without pureeing it. So if we put all of these ingredients in a traditional container, we're gonna end up with a margarita smoothie. A moogie? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> Not gonna become a thing. <laughs> Anyways, it was just puree and it wouldn't be very good. This is actually gonna get sucked through the little air holes. So it's gonna muddle it and bruise it a little bit and bring out all the flavors and the oils, but it's not gonna turn it into nothingness. Lots of really great vocabulary words here. Winston would be proud. He would. <laughs> okay. So, mint in, we got a little bit more. We have some beautiful strawberries coming in from more farms and more farm and friends. Um, and they do CSA um, drop-offs at both of the Cook's Warehouse locations. And they are like the nicest people on the planet and their produce is fantastic. Um, and so right now is a great time to be supporting your local CSAs. Um, so using their beautiful, beautiful strawberries we're going to throw those in. We have some tequila. <laughs> yep, that's tequila. This is eight ounces. We're going to do eight ounces of that simple syrup that I made a moment ago. Normally I would use fresh squeezed lime juice for this, but we don't have any lime, so we're going to make do with some key lime juice. <laughs> no idea how much that was. <laughs> Enough. All right. Let's muddle.
It just looks like springtime. Okay. Pop this off with a little soda. So you can just make a batch of these for your friends before they come over. And instead of having to make nojitos one at a time, you've just got a nice big old batch. Ha, ha, ha.